representing Build Africa. Na kwa sikanye vya music na entertainment Uganda all the way. Build Africa, big up! Hey, uh, hey, my love, uh, uh, uh. Yo, this is Eddie Kenzo, the boss of from Uganda, representing Uganda All Star Channel, YouTube, subscribe. Uh Hi Juliana. Hey, how are you? Very good. What's going on? <laughs> I'm good. I'm fine. I'm chilling. People still ask, how do you keep it? How do you keep your beauty just like that? Well, thank you. First of all, if you think I'm beautiful, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I just do me. Take lots of water. And just relax and uh, rest. Uh, rest enough. That's all. I don't do anything out of this world. Like for real, this water thing. Because I've had a couple of celebrities talk about water, water, water. Water is very good for everyone. It's, it's good for your health, it's good for your looks, it's good for your skin. It's just good. What are yes, the benefits uh, of being a royal princess? I've always wanted to ask you. I don't know, nothing. It's just it's just that you, you, you happen to come from a certain type of family, which is um, royalty. And, but that's pretty much it. It doesn't... It, it's not like it comes with a salary to be yeah. a princess, no, it's just, it's just coming from a, a, a certain kind of fam family and it's, it's an amazing family, I love my family, I love them. How many things have you gotten away with for being royal? Nothing. I really? Don't, I don't know, I don't use, I don't, e when was the last time you had me use my title? I don't even use it, I like I don't, like I would never introduce myself like, hi, I'm Princess Juliana, like I feel like, come on, no. Um, I just live my life like any other normal person because I don't think I'm different from anyone else. And I don't think I should be getting favors because of a family I come from or even my position in the music industry. Yeah. I just live a normal, quiet life. Alrighty. And uh, speaking of uh, you coming from the royal Toro uh, family and everything, uh, you and your mother have something going on. You've always talked about it, but people never pay attention to you know you having a school. Uh, it's a girls' school? Talk it's to us about the entire thing. It's called TAPU. Yeah. TAPU Girls' School Training to Eradicate Poverty in Uganda. That's what we called it because that's what we were trying to do. It's, it's a school we did especially for, for, for young girls out there in the village in Port Porto. Girls who have not got an education, who have not got an opportunity to go in a classroom, you know, maybe the parents can't afford it anymore or something like that. And this is because the more I visited Port Porto, the more I noticed that, you know, you see so many girls just sitting by the roadside or by, or by the shop, helping their mother. And I felt there's something I could do, especially for those girls where I come from. And uh, it's, it's, it's still growing, it's not easy. Um, we're hoping we can get people to help us, come on board, sponsor us. And, uh, but right now we're doing it by ourselves, me, my mom and my aunties. And it's, it's a joy to see these girls happy, yes. Uh, what, uh, is, is there any particular girl that you have celebrated like uh, she went through the school and now she's in a better place? Uh, there's a few of them who finished uh, sometime last year. And um, what we do is, is we follow them up. And, and, and make sure they get jobs, you know. If we have contacts, we help them. If uh, we can help them start a business, we help them. Because the things they learn in this school are stuff like, you know, cooking, uh, making, uh, uh, sewing, you know, stuff. Yeah. Um, things that can help them sort of start their own life and a, a small business of their own. And uh, we try to make follow them up and try to make sure, you know, there's something that they're getting out of the education that they've got from the school. Uh, girls need an opportunity to get an education because they deserve a bright, a bright future just as much as the boys do. Um, we believe that the girl's future can be really bright as long as we support her. And so Let Girls Learn is about you know, getting these girls an education and giving them a bright future. Now, did you ever have like any fever when you're going in to do a video, music video for anything? Because at times I've seen like uh, you are a beautiful woman. Yeah. So regardless of how you come out, people will still enjoy the video because of the beauty that strikes. But I rarely pay attention to my looks. 
I don't pay attention to it. You know, like I think about the product. I'm like, okay, the video, I hope it looks good. The clothes are fine. It looks well. There's so many beautiful people out there, so I don't think I'm. Yeah, right. <laughs> no, I don't